It's not that hot outside, but no, it's warmer. That, <laughs> it's not. It's going to get a, actually a little bit colder. We have a couple cold days this week, Kate and Chris, but we have some warm days in between those two cold days. So. Here we go. Let's look outside now. We're looking at uh, still kind of a cloudy sky in Boston. There's no precipitation around here. And it looks like we'll have temperatures which will be going down a little bit later this afternoon. And by the way, if you're a snow lover, you're going to be very disappointed what I have to say because it looks like we're not going to have, at least at this point, it doesn't look like any snow for the rest of this month. That's at least that's the way it looks right now. I know we've got a lot of days to go, but long range, it seems like all the storms are going to the west of us. So that's kind of a surprise. And we have to go way back to 2012, the blowtorch winter of 2011, 2012, when it was so warm the entire winter, we got practically no snow. And that's pretty much what we have here in 2018. Only 2.2 .2 inches of snow so far, but of course all the years in between, of course, climaxed by the 2015 snow blitz. Well, we've got some rain on the map right now, and it's still raining over parts of the Cape. Uh, just a little bit, nothing particularly heavy until you get way out to the outer part of the Cape. Some pretty good uh, downpours there and around Nantucket, too, but that'll be pushing offshore in the next hour or so. Though. So the temperature in Boston is 42 now. We'll hold there another hour or so, and then start to drop a little bit later this afternoon as the sky becomes more clear. Look at the cold weather off to the north and west. Pickle Lake, one of my favorite towns, 11 below zero right now. Moosonee. Up in Ontario is minus 13. We're not going to be that cold, but it is going to be cold tonight. Definitely colder than the last few nights have been. After we reach the lower 40s this afternoon, we have the highs today only in the single numbers in parts of Montana and into the Dakotas. 12 in Minneapolis. The same old cold weather continues out there while this uh, warm 85 in Orlando today. So here goes the front shifting offshore. So this clearing will come in from northwest to southeast during the afternoon. We'll see more and more sunshine as that cloud band moves off to the southeast and all the precipitation, of course, goes along with it. So a clear sky tonight and it's going to be cold tonight and we'll have sunshine just about all day long tomorrow. Just a few scattered clouds are possible. By late in the day, some high cloudness will start to show up. We'll have that by sunset. Sunset, maybe adding some color to the sunset tomorrow, and then we may look forward to um, a milder day coming up on Valentine's Day. So here are the lows for tonight, upper teens and lower 20s by dawn, cold night coming up, and a cold day tomorrow, temperatures below average by about a half a dozen degrees, only around 32 or so. And then looking ahead to Valentine's Day, well, here's what happened in 2015 on Valentine's Day. We had 16.2 inches of snow in 2015, because that's in the middle of the snow blitz. And then in 2016, it was nine below zero in Boston on Valentine's morning. You remember that? Last year, it was 34. This year, it looks like we're going to have temperatures around the 40s. Should be around 46 to 48 degrees in the afternoon, then dropping down to near 40 during the evening. And then on Thursday, we're going to make a run at 60. We have had 60 degrees this winter. That happened back in January 13th. The record is 61 back in um, 1939, so I think we have a shot at 61, so that's what I'm going for on Thursday. 61, even though there'll be a few scattered showers and limited sunshine. And then now it does look like the warm weather isn't going to last into Friday. At least it may be warm to start off the morning, and then colder weather to be here, clearing up for the weekend. That's your forecast for now.